Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. Super late at night, which is the only time I can record this because the JP livestream for Vago happens late at night. But anyway, today, today's video is going to be pretty obvious based on the title. There was some Summer 7 stuff revealed and I want to talk about it, so that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. Feel free to tell me how you feel about it. All right, let's go. So we're going to have to bring this up because as always, we have to give some credit to some of the dudes. They showed off the dudes. Some, if So if you don't know what's going on, currently there is a live stream going on. It's usually over two, three days. It's basically a festival going on. Um, tonight, today, depending on when you watch it, is going to be the big one where they're going to reveal the 7th anniversary unit. And tonight, they revealed some stuff about Summer 7, which comes right after the anniversary. There's also some other stuff about we still don't have a confirmation about when Summer 6 is going to be reran. I will say in the past there it's been very clear based off of Christmas that they're not afraid to skip events. I don't think they're going to be skipping Summer though. It's too big an event. But anyway, they started off by showing the Summer 7 um, men outfits which are going to be Asplis looking very nice here. Delman looking very punchable here. And Ye Yun is that the ninja man? I know he's the Shinjuku uh, assassin, which is how I mainly know him as. But these are the three male swimsuits. Um, usually, the male swimsuit, it kind of depends on how much. I don't know how much they're going to depend on it. Maybe this is a sign that maybe Ninja Mom is going to be getting a summer outfit, maybe a four star. I can't think of too many units that are related to Delman that aren't just like, actually there's too many that are related to him for it to be anything, so. And then the other two are just kind of like the similar thing of like it's very hard to actually gauge where they would be, so I don't think there's any hint on here. But yeah, they started with this and it was pretty cool, it's pretty nice, and now here's the big thing. The two summer units that they've showed off so far is Summer 4 Gareth, who is a 4 star, and Summer 5 uh, Lady. Oh man, what is it? Lady something? A Lady Avalon, aka Proto Merlin in a swimsuit. Yes, the Proto Merlin that is Fogo Arcade exclusive. She is making her way into the game. They're actually bypassing the exclusivity that Arcade has. So let me explain. This was insane. This was an extremely good uh, hype reveal. And there's some implications about it that are going to... It's going to be interesting to see what the anniversary unit is. But let me start with this in case you don't know. Fogo Arcade and Fogo Regular are considered two different properties. Meaning that they have to get permissions with each other in order to collab certain units that are considered theirs. Now I know it sounds weird, it sounds very weird. And some people are probably a little bit confused by that as well. But uh, here's the main thing that you need to know is that I think the way they see it is that Merlin is considered an us thing, male Merlin, and female Merlin is considered a arcade exclusive. And the way it's like that now you're thinking Fogo Arcade also got Merlin but also they're treating it as like a crossover where it doesn't feel like he should be it's like a big thing is the reason he's going there so it's so basically the only way we could ever get proto Merlin in our game is that we would have to get collab with Fogo Arcade we can't just have her normally that's just the way of the state of the being the same thing probably goes for Tiamat and Sima and the female version of no no the male version of the female girl we got that i forget her name i think it's jock is something whatever anyway my point is is that we have to do a big rigmarole if we actually want to get proto merlin but apparently that does not count for the summer version so they're basically bypassing all of that making this the first unit we've ever gotten that is Oh, debuting as a summer unit and we don't have a regular version of which is crazy because this is definitely one of the big ones. I think there's two two current big ones probably a third one that I won't mention because it's a little bit of a um, but no one here can play for go arcade but here's the three ones that are in my head the big ones the number one is obviously proto merlin number two is tiamat which they currently have and number three would be Mother Harlot, but Mother Harlot is not actually a unit for them yet, I think. 
she's a boss but those are the three that come to mind of the big ones um so to get her early before a collab of any kind is kind of nuts and it sounds like they're getting a collab with us to get merlin i don't know if that means i think a lot of people are taking this as this means that she's not gonna actually be there for the collab and that means that it makes way for tiamat and maybe some others to join us i would now that she's here in summer form i definitely would prefer it if when we do a Fago Arcade uh, crossover, we get um, we get Tiamat and maybe someone else. I still need to think about which we'll out the one I want, but anyway, great reveal, fantastic, good stuff. Here's so here's a question. I did a video previously saying I have no idea who the summer the seventh year anniversary. I've seen some of the potential ideas for it being maybe Galahad that's the one I've seen where it's like well it's a shield on the cover so it should be Galahad and I say okay fair enough makes sense um I don't know who you release that doesn't make people automatically skip and go straight for proto Merlin because if you weren't there when Merlin originally released there has been exactly two times on specifically the NA version of the game where it grinded to a screeching halt where it was very hard to play. One of them was Castoria, which we recently had, and the other one was Merlin. And on the JP version of the game, when Merlin was there, it's very hard to kind of like... Because we kind of see it as like, oh, these are just updates that this is the way the game, the na game naturally possessed. But when Merlin originally released on the JP version of the game, he was so crazy broken busted, they had to change the way bosses had to be built. Like before, before Merlin, bosses just had really big HP bars and then you did your best to take them down and it actually did take a while. That changed when Merlin came around because he dealt so much damage that you could easily take an enemy down in one turn. And that's why we have break bars. If you've ever been annoyed by break bars, they exist because of Merlin and stuff like that. So it's going to be interesting to see how they handle Proto Merlin. Because in my mind, she has to be nuts crazy broken to live up to the Merlin name. That would make her probably one of the best summer units in history. If I were to think about it, if I was specifically releasing stuff for the game, otherwise it doesn't really do justice to Merlin as a person and the legacy that he kind of holds, <laughs> which is funny to think about now that so many people want him to get buffed that he doesn't have that legacy anymore. But to me, that's what the legacy of Merlin is, is that a crazy unit that basically broke the game and now here's the second version of him, but now it's a woman. So it's going to go nuts. So I don't know who you release for anniversary. That is one hype enough of a person that makes people go oh damn it i have to get both because there's definitely going to be some there's some characters where people would go funny enough marmasa would be that character for a lot of people and so would saber and stuff like that it would have to be our original fate stay night crew member but they've all released those we don't have any more rins we don't have any more soccer as a release we don't have anything else we have kire but i don't think it's time for rasputin rasputin just yet and otherwise, other than that, it'd have to be someone crazy broken on the level of, of Merlin, in which case that would get people to summon. But I still think most people would kind of just wait for Proto Merlin, so it's a very interesting thing. I will see how the anniversary stuff goes down tomorrow. I'll release a video for it. I'll see you guys then. I just wanted to talk about this because holy <laughs> it was pretty crazy. I'm really interested to see who else is here. And also, I really like the way Gareth looks. I think Gareth looks perfectly fine here. I'm pretty sure Gareth is the free 4 star. She looks very dapper. It's just very unfortunate that she had to be right next to Proto Berlin. No one... Mm, that's a shame. Hopefully she does good in the story. But yeah, that's the end of the video, everyone. I'll see you guys later. You guys have a good night. Bye.